What's happening, mature-minded gamers? We are here with another dedicated server setup video. I'm Eric, and we're going to talk and show you how to do the Ark Survival Ascended dedicated server using Steam CMD for Windows. So let's get to it. Uh, if you don't know, the brand new expansion for Ark Survival Ascended just came out. It's called Lost Colonies. came out on the 19th. You can pick it up for 30 bucks. That's what we're going to be playing on our channel here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, not only for how to set up your own server videos, but for Let's Plays. We do a daily lunch break, and that's what we're going to focus on coming up very soon. But let's get to this. If you don't know what Steam CMD is, it is a platform that Steam released that allows you to host servers through it. It's a great little tool. If you don't have it already, you can download it for free. So all you need to do is go to Google, type in Steam CMD like I have did right here. And then hit enter and it's going to pop up this link right here. You want the one that says Valve Community or Developer Community. Click on that. And then you want the Windows version right here. So click on Windows. And then up top here is the link. You need to download this. It's going to download it as a Steam CMD zip folder. And you just need to extract it. I always recommend you put it somewhere where you can find it easily. Directly on your D drive, your backup drive. If you have to, directly on your C drive. It doesn't honestly matter too much as long as you remember where it's at. So I have a short link to mine right here on my desktop. And when I open it, it pops open just like that. And then you need to go to wherever this folder is, wherever you extracted it to. And the only thing, if this is a fresh install that you should have in there, is Steam CMD. And that's perfectly fine. All you need to do is execute it. So we're going to run mine. Now, if you've already got Steam CMD installed, you're going to already have files here. You still need to run it. It needs to update. So go ahead and do it. Let it update. If it's the first time, it may take a few minutes, but eventually you'll get to a prompt like this that says Steam, and you need to type in commands. And so we're going to log in anonymously. So type in login space anonymous, like that, A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S, and then hit enter, and it's going to log you into Steam. This game does not require you to own the game to host a server. Some servers do require that. Then in that case, you would log in with your Steam account that actually owns the game to do this. But we, you don't have to do that for this game. Uh, once you get to another prompt like this, we're going to put in the app ID. And this lets us download the actual server files for the game itself. And so you just type in app underscore update space two four three zero nine uh, three zero let me repeat that two four three zero nine three zero so you want to put it in just like i have it just right here and then you just need to hit enter and it's going to download all the server files for you now i've already done this so it says hey app is already updated if you haven't already done this it's going to take a little bit to download all the server files that's fine once it's done it is going to look like the window back here behind us that I just done it on. See, this is the one I downloaded it on. And then it'll say success app, and it'll have the number listed there fully installed. And you'll be at another command prompt at this point. One thing I do want to mention, this is how you update the server. The exact steps we just did right there, that's how you will update it when they release another update for the servers. These exact steps right here. But once you're done at this prompt, you can type in exit and close it out. It's done. Now, you want to go back to the folder that you originally installed or extracted the Steam CMD. So right back to wherever Steam CMD was extracted. You're going to see you have a lot more files here now. That's normal. You want to look for the Steam Apps folder right here. Go into there and then go into Common. This is where it downloaded your server files. And you see, I, I host a lot of servers. I make a lot of videos. So I have a lot here. If this is your only server, you should only have the Arc server right here. Arc Survival Ascended Dedicated Server. That's what you're looking for. So click on that. So you want to go into Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and then here is your arc ascended server.exe. All right. Now we just need to create our new start server.bat. This side of the folder where you're not actually clicking a file and then hit new. Then you want to hit text document and it's going to add a text document. Now you want to delete out this name and delete out the dot text at the end. And you want to put in start server dot bat. Okay. And then you hit enter. Now, I'm going to do that. This file name extension might become unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? You want to hit yes. Now, if yours says start server.bat.txt, that's because you don't have the ability to change the extension. You can turn that on if, you, if you're an admin on the server, which you, hopefully you are, by going up top here to the server browser, hitting view, 
and then going to file name extensions, put a little check mark there. See if I uncheck it, now you don't see the extension, right? So you wanna actually have that on. So put that check there, boom. And then you can change the file name extension just like I did. Okay, once you have your .bat created and named, you wanna right click on it and go edit. You can edit with Notepad or Notepad++. And there's a lot of text here. I'm gonna copy and paste this into the video description so you don't have to worry about trying to copy it as I read it to you, because that'd be hard to do. But basically what this is doing is it's starting the arc ascended server.exe. So it's executing that exe. And I'm not pointing to a directory. So this file here has to be in the same directory as the arc ascended server.exe file, which is why which is where it is right now, where we put it. If you try to put this on your desktop and create it, it's not going to find that server. It's not going to work. So now with that said, you can create a shortcut off of this that we make. But anyways, make this in the same folder as the video. Uh, next up, you want to put in what map you're going to load. So we're doing the brand new map, Lost Colony, underscore WP. If you need a list of maps, you can go to the official wiki, which is arc.wiki.gg, and I'll put this link in the video description as well. And in here, you'll have a list of all the commands you can actually use, but right here's the most important part. It's the commands for the maps. So this is what you put in to load a different map. Now back to there, uh, multi-home, that is if, uh, you, if you're wanting to play and other people on your local network cannot see the server, you would wanna put your local IP or the server IP in here. So it would be from almost everybody, it'd be 192.168 and then whatever your local IP is, you know, it. some servers use zero here, some servers use a one, and then the next octet, whatever's assigned to your server. And you can do an IP config all on the server machine, and it will actually output you and show you whatever this address is. So you do wanna fill that in if you need multi-home. All right. Port, this is your port and your, uh, well, both the ports. You need 7777 and 27015 open on your firewalls and your routers. Otherwise, nobody's going to be able to connect to the server from the outside. And this has to be open for this, the machine it's hosting. So your server has to have these ports open. I made a video on how to do it with your Windows firewall. It's on my YouTube channel. You can follow that. I'll have it linked in the video description as well. Follow that to get instructions for your router. I recommend you Google your router model number, uh, model name and how to open or forward a port. And you'll probably find a guide for that model that explains it. Every router is different. So really just looking it up on your own is the best method for that. All right, next up you have max players. Obviously, you can set this to whatever you want. The more you have, though, the more resources it uses, both in your server. So if you have a bunch of people online, your servers might get bogged down and crash or lag or whatever, and then your bandwidth. So be careful if you set it too high. Uh, the rest of this allow creatures on top of structures, true, force game. Uh, that's just stuff that you should have in there to make it a, a, the server run well, okay? I wouldn't really, you shouldn't have to change any of this. Uh, Crossplay here, I'm not sure if crossplay is working right now, but if it is, you want this... You want the switch in there. No battle eye will make sure that battle eye is not required. So you'd want to take this out if you want to use battle eye on your server. So, okay, you got the main things changed. We're good. You're ready to hit file, hit save. That's going to save all the changes that you made. Now just close that window and double click on your start server dot bat. All right. And once you got the server up and it gives some time to load, what you're looking for is server has successfully started. So you can see right here with your server name, mature minded gamer successfully started. That's Awesome. And then the next one is at the very bottom. Hopefully it says server has completed startup and is now advertising for join. That means it should be connecting to the server browser. You should be able to see it. So if it's not at this point, it's not an issue with your server. It's something blocking it or maybe the client. So before I show you how to join the server, I'm going to show you how to shut it down. All right. And if you want to shut your server down, I mean, you can technically close the with the X up here. I wouldn't recommend that though. Hit this arrow arrow right here. And it's going to drop down a little run command bar down here at the bottom. And you can just type in exit. And that will actually shut the server down the correct way. Now, if you scroll down and look at the bottom, you'll see it's closing by request. That's the right way to shut down the server. All right. Once you get your server up and running and you load ARC on the game that you're going to play it on, which needs to be separate from the server that you're hosting on, you want to go in here and click join game. 
and then you want to make sure you're on the unofficial tab up here. And if you have a password, you need to make sure the show password protected servers is checked. And for some reason, you may have to check show player servers, even though this is a dedicated server. I don't know if it's an issue on their end or what, but then up here in the search bar, just type in your server name. So we are the MMG Lost Colony, right there it is, and hit the join button. And if you put a password in, you have to put the password in, but then you will be good to go and join your server. All right, hopefully this video helped you out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have yourself a great day.